talked again on we talked again on Friday, Christian party line. Yeah, yeah. But that's Saturday, right. Sunday, and then it's already Monday. Monday, which is a good thing. Yeah, happy Monday, everybody. You know, sometimes people don't like the Mondays, but it's the beginning of the week. Yeah, Mondays is just Mondays are those. You know, after a great weekend, though, you know, for artists, I always say you kind of go back into like. For me, sometimes I feel like Cinderella. You know, I have a great weekend. I get a chance to dress up, glam up, you know, have an event. And then it's like right back to my jeans and t shirt. Mm. It's like the Cinderella. That's right. (laughs) I'm going to give a couple shout outs. I saw some some friends from back in the day. You know how your parents um, have their friends, like their best friends, and they Mm -hmm. have kids your age? Well, I had a lot of playmates, you know. My, friends, my parents used to always have uh, dinner parties, and my dad used to have his little Super Bowl parties or college game day parties. And uh, he's one of his best friends uh, that grew up a few blocks from him in, in West Baltimore. His name was James Brown, believe it or not. Uh, he turned 80 mm. years old. Uh, matter of fact, he turned 80 years old on Sunday. But we got a chance to wow, hang out happy with him. Birthday. Uh, no, my bad. He turns 80 today on Monday. Uh, he celebrated okay. on Sunday. He had all his friends and family out. Um, it was awesome to see a lot of his friends still around there in the eighties. I know guys played football together, went to high school together, and still, you know, and a lot of them did very well in their professional career and their children doing well. So great to see those guys. Um, shout out to Tavon. Uh, he used to be a special ed teacher. He retired. His brother Randy, he's still working for UPS, driving big tractor trailers. And then his brother Rashid. I'm not sure what Rashid did. He was built like a football player, so who knows? He may be still, uh, maybe he's coaching or something. <laughs> so anyway, uh, those guys came out, brought their family with them. It was good to see their kids and stuff. It's exciting to see, you know, where people have gone in so many years. You know, I haven't seen them in a real long time, believe it or not. Especially after eighty, I mean, eighty years old is eighty years old is a milestone. Yeah. So happy birthday! And it's That's it's right. cool for the family to be able to celebrate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was cool. When I got a chance to go back down the Eastern Shore, it was hot as heck down there. <laughs> so it just reminded mm-hmm. me of something. <laughs> wow! Well, next time I'll be checking in the hotel. <laughs> my parents, <laughs> my parents, they have they they didn't have the window air conditioning um, ready. My mom had them covered up. Um, yeah, I felt like I was in a, uh, I was in a, I was in um, <laughs> Vietnam or somewhere. <laughs> well, they're used to it too. Possibly they're used to it. So we get down there and it's just like we need air. That's yeah. called spoiled. So you know, know that that's what know. that is spoiled, right? Yeah, because they down there in the you know the rural area. That's where all the great. That's where you get some the best watermelon and and peaches and plum. Oh man, that plums. Oh, mm. ooh, they can you can die for those things. Tomatoes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait till, you know, everything start harvesting, man. Can't wait. So July, I think July and August when the fruit is really, really good down there. So depends on how the heat comes in. I don't really do tomatoes. I don't do, I can do the plums and the peaches, but I don't really do tomatoes. Oh, but that tomatoes are different. <laughs> I don't know why, though. I eat, I eat tomatoes hot. I just can't eat them cold. Uh, yeah, we just put them on the windowsill when they're nice and ripe. You know, just grab them. And that, that tomatoes are huge, too. They, they they got them big ones, man. Mm. Wow. Can't wait. My so, grandmother uh, used to do that. She used to take the tomatoes and put some salt and pepper and just eat them like they were apples. Yes, we did, man. Never understood it. I think lunch. that's what it was. I always tried to figure out why I didn't like it, but because she ate it that way, I bit into it thinking it was an apple once, <laughs> and it just wasn't yeah, the right taste. Yeah, so I think that. I've been sour from it ever since. That's right. I feel you on that. Well, um, <laughs> I just want to remind everybody real quick, though, speaking of vegetables and, and country, good country food, fried chicken and mm, the best of seafood. We're going to be in Chestertown. Come on out this weekend, Saturday. I think the event starts on Friday, go all the way through Sunday, but everything happens on Saturday with the parade. Um, you're going to have a 10K race. Uh, lots and lots of activities for the kids. They're going to have a reenactment of the Chestertown Tea Party. If you guys remember what happened in Boston uh, when the British, the British was coming, the British was coming. They dumped all that tea off their ships into the mm-hmm. bay. So that's going to be going down in Chestertown this Saturday. And also, again, me and Lakeisha are going to be at the theater downtown Chestertown, the Gabriel. They call it the Prince Theater. We're going to be there on, on the water. At the theater, it's supposed to be a beautiful renovated theater. I think they pumped like millions into this building, this facility. So, man, the kids are very excited to, to be down there. So, me and George will be down there. So, just look for us. We'll be in the Ford Jeep Wrangler 
So I'm not taking an F-150 this time. We're going to head to top down, Man. top off. That's right. I had to top off. Man. So look for us, y'all. We're we looking forward to seeing you guys. And um, it's going to be exciting. We're looking forward to it. We, we're going to be doing some uh, quite a few things down there. Um, we we have actually have a collaboration going on with um, WKHS with uh, DJ Lady Praise and um, and mm-hmm. my brother. I forgot what he called himself. I think he called himself. I'm not going to make it up. Anyway, we hope to be down there one Sunday on the air with them. They cover um, some of the D.C. area, Delaware. They got pretty good reach with their station. So, uh, uh, gentlemen put a lot of money into their station. So, uh, the community is really excited. They're going to be pushing a lot of jazz. I, I hear a guy just invested everything he had into a brand new jazz club uh, with a restaurant. Wow. So, we're looking forward to um, getting down. So, one thing is I'm going to tell people real quick before we bring Epic Mike on. Um, uh, uh, Music Vision Television um, television station is coming real, real soon. Uh, well, you know, we're going to be streaming a lot of our own content. But one of the things we want to introduce to you guys is um, other genres of music. Uh, of course, you know, we play a lot of gospel music and we do a lot of uh, Christian hip hop. You're getting a lot of that now. Um, but we also want to kind of bring, slow it down a little bit, do a little bit of some of the jazz, you know. Uh, so we're going to be doing some stuff with them with their station. I think they actually have jazz events down there. So uh, me and Lakeisha are going to be trying to uh, get in there and talk to the people about their love for music. You know, jazz is, a, you know, a lot, lot like bluegrass and, you know, you know, music that make you feel good. So, I think um, that's good. Yeah. I think it's good. I think, you know, there's a channel here, 102.5, and every Sunday evening they just put, jazz on yeah. i mean it's you know christian jazz you know mm-hmm. that they're, they're playing you know the music that we know but i think they just slow it down that's right so slow that's it down. Idea. yeah and one of the things um that's how we started out we started out with linton smith and um and pastor powell with uh gospel jazz that's how our positive power got started as a christian station yeah, Christian Music Station. Yeah. So we're going to kind of go back to our roots a little bit. So we're going to get a chance to get down and meet them folks. And um, we're also going to be introducing a brand new television show down there. It's going to be a traveling show. They're going to be talking about some of the places you can go on the Eastern Shore to get good food and to hang out and meet lovely people. And one of the things people don't know about Eastern Shore, a lot of people from the Hamptons, <laughs> you know, the Hamptons, I guess is up north somewhere. Mm-hmm. What's that, New Hampshire? Connecticut, one of those mm-hmm. states. You know, that's where all your rich people go and enjoy the water and the small town. Mm-hmm. Well, they actually have they have homes also in St. Michael's on the Eastern Shore in Maryland where they get a chance to be themselves. <laughs> you don't have to be snooty, you yeah. know, because everybody make, they make you be friendly <laughs> down there, you know, because they got the they got the really good pizza and the apple pies, clam and oil. If you're eating food, you don't want to be snooty, you know, and bougie or whatever you want to be. Yeah. So, um, that's been happening. They had a really big article on that last year, and I was really tripping out when I read it because because they said the, you know the same people who live in the Hamptons they come down here, same neighbors, but they're a lot more friendly. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're going to mm-hmm. be um, doing a lot of that um, this summer. Um, you know, I get a chance to hang out with my parents a little bit more too. Um, some stuff with the American Legion, you know, see what our veterans are up to. Those guys are pushing a lot of um, community involvement in the community uh, with history. And then I get a chance. I'm going to go visit the the, the, uh, the museum. I actually have a um, a family actually have a magazine that's been published in a museum down there. Uh, uh, really Trap, Maryland. Yep. So we're going to go visit those people and um, explore our history. Because I know I took Jordan there before, but he probably don't remember. So we're going to go back and remind him. <laughs> Take some pictures and some selfies and stuff like that. So, oh, and before I go, before I turn the mic over to Epic Mike and the Shea, real quick, don't forget everybody, we're taking, we're, 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 we're going to be shooting again for My Journey with Paula G right here in, uh, in Charm City in Owens Mills, Maryland. We got our, we got a closed studio here, so it's invite only, but uh, you can reach out to Paula G at PaulaGVoice.com, PaulaGVoice.com. You know that show airs on WATC2 uh, dot, dot TV. Here's on Janico, I think it's Janico, yeah, Janico, uh, Faith TV, and of course, it's on all your big time Connect TVs like Roku, Apple, and um, those Google Play. All right, so, the, and also we'll be coming back to Atlanta, so Shay, you guys get ready, get your rest, we're coming back down, October 11th, we're going to be at the Good Acting Studio with Mario Good, and, it's, and uh, all the actors and stuff, so we're going to be shooting a live TV show 
right there in the black box at the Good Acting Studio. Right there is going to be the Paula G Show with a live studio artist. So that's going to be exciting. That's October 11th. Then with the 12th, we're going to be hanging out with Dr. Terrell Jenkins and his team. They're going to be collaborating with a big a life coach out in the Atlanta area. It's a big event going on. So we're going to be doing the red carpet and um, doing interviews. So that's going to be exciting, too, so you guys get a chance to meet the Positive Power family. All right, so that's that's what we got, y'all. And, of course, September 21st, we'll let you know some more stuff going, but Lakeisha Mosley going to have a big conference. It's going to be televised here in the Owens Mills area. It's going to be at the, at the MPT, Public uh, Maryland Public Television. I think this, that's the location so far where it's going to be. But if you're interested, there's going to be tickets available. That's going to be super awesome. We're going to be accepting vendors. That's going to be huge. Oh, one more thing, Shay. Zenobia, Zenobia Sampson, go out to her page. There's a stage play going on right here in, in Baltimore County. That's right at Willon High School. Uh, it's Father's Day weekend. It's running that Saturday and that Sunday. It's three shows. Uh, she's accepting vendors. So if you're in the Baltimore area, I know a lot of you guys listen to the show. You want to support our sister because they've been calling her. The people from Atlanta have been calling her. Uh, to put on a production there. So, um, and you know, Zenobia had a problem packing up. <laughs> she only moved here to help me out. <laughs> she helped me out with late night. So I got to get some more shows in with her. But anyway, that's my time. Thank you, everybody, for listening to Late Night with Jervis, like Worldwide, and Shay Samuels. Thank you, Shay. No problem. Thank you. And I do have one shout out as well, Jerry, before you go. I want to shout out mm-hmm. to David Benton and his featured artist, Blue Cheese. They released their video, Change Your Circle, today. Yeah, yeah. It went live, premiere at 7 p.m. So if you did not see it, I need you to go see that video. You haven't heard from David Ben in a while because he was behind the scenes making sure that I was good. Yeah, now yeah. he's back on the map. He's All right, I gotta, the yeah, so, I got to hit him up. Maybe we can air it right after this show if it's okay with him. Yeah, we can air it after it this show. We can air it after this show if, if it's okay with him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll get, I'll get that over to you. But if you haven't seen, yeah, he it, sent it, it to me. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we do that right after the show. So everybody, stick around at eleven o'clock. That's right. Premier David Benton. Amen. Thank you, Shay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us again another Monday. This is Jerry Voice Live, late night with Jerry Voice Live, aka the Batman and Shay Samuels, and I'm just excited to always be here on a Monday. Um, the Triple Podcast, uh, shout out to Lakeisha Mosley and my sister Ree in radio, and we are going to go ahead and go live with Mr. Epic Mike. Mr. Epic Mike, are you with us? Uh, yes, ma'am, I certainly am. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, just uh, excited to get in here and uh, talk with you guys a bit and i have my ministry partner Alyssa, with me as well and we're just uh excited to be with you guys good good i was going to ask if she was there because i had a lot of questions for her i was like he can't hog up the whole show i needed to make sure that you're talking <laughs> <with you." laughs> i was like i try to hog, hog it up she whole... doesn't... yeah she There's doesn't no... let me i just throw the elbow every once in a while uh huh. Like, there's no Michael without Tito. There's no Tito without Jermaine. <laughs> if you came on here by yourself, I would have said, "Jerry, we're gonna have to reschedule him until he can get the partner on with them." So, thank you both for joining us tonight. I, it is a pleasure for me to be able to interview you and just find out more about your music and what you guys have going on. I have so many questions, and I know that you all have so much to tell the listeners and the viewers tonight. But first, let's start off with, and one, either one of you can start. But let's talk about your ministry, um, who you are. Uh, let's start. Let's start there. Who Who are you? Who is Epic Mike and Alyssa? Um, Epic Mike. Um, I started out as a solo artist, um, just kind of uh, getting involved with some youth ministries and trying to put together some music that you know could touch their hearts and you know bring them closer to God and. Uh, I was in the military for a while, moved around for a bit, and then getting back here to Texas, I ended up working with a band, and um, Alyssa was a part of that band, and uh, we did some things, it was a really exciting time, and once that band fell apart, you know, uh, the last two people standing was me and Alyssa, you know, and I started out as a solo artist under the name of Epic Mike, so we kind of just continued along there. Uh, we're looking up cha- at changing up some things a little bit later, um, but you know she's kind of been there uh, on board with the ministry for a while now. We we performed 
each time I've performed, she's performed. Um, you know, each time I've had a chance to minister, she's had a chance to minister. And, you know, it's just kind of cool to have somebody alongside you like that. And it's been a, a great a great time, a, a, a good road. And we met Brian, uh, you know, that got us here to this interview that put us in front of a lot of people. And just being able to share what God poured into us, you know, it's been an exciting time. Amen, amen. And I, I know that you guys just did Brian's um his ministry, his uh, music business ministry on May 4th, and we're going to talk a lot about that because you had a chance to perform there as well, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that, was a yeah. great, that was a great time. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that. So, Miss Alyssa, tell the, the viewers and the listeners about you. Uh, so, I've been doing music, uh, well, I've, I've been doing music unprofessionally uh, pretty much my whole life, you know, been in the church scene for as long as I can remember, and uh, Mike's sister was, you know, or I'm sorry, uh, we met through his sister, and because uh, he was looking for a singer, and she was like, well, I have the perfect person, and um, so, you know, we, we, got to, we got to meet through her, and, uh, you know, through this whole time, like, I felt so much more closer to God, and, you know, I, I felt, uh, I've, I've gotten to experience things I never thought like dreamed of or thought of and and it's just it's truly been a blessing to be a part of such a ministry that that impacts that has the potential to impact a lot of people and does impact a lot of people kind of day in and day out so it's it's really a blessing and an honor to be a part of that amen amen i'm listening to you both and i do a monday motivational video every monday and today's motivational video is about esther and what I was hearing you say is you were with the band, and I was talking about Queen Vashti and how God sets it up behind the scenes, even when you don't know what's about to happen. There's always something happening behind the scenes to put you in position. So, Epic Mike, you said you were with the band, the band didn't work out, and you both were the last two standing, and here you are now. So I'd like to say that that was designed appointment. <laughs> that was an assignment that God definitely had for both of you to be where you are today. And so I'm just grateful to be here on the line with you and just witnessing what God is doing with you right at the beginning. So let's talk about, you talked about Brian Irby and you talked about meeting him. How did that come about and talk about how that has just enlightened the ministry, what you're learning from it, how you're growing from it and what he's been able to add to your ministry? Um, He's been able to add a tremendous, a lot of momentum, you know, behind the music um, I recorded all of my music out in Hawaii. Um, I was with the Coast Guard out in Hawaii. Uh, I recorded a full album. I think I had like two songs left to record. I got back here to Texas. And, um, you know, I'm back in my hometown, but because I've been gone so long, those uh, networks and connections that I would have or you would assume people to have, you know, in their hometowns, you know, just wasn't available to me. And uh, looking at some of the local managers and the people who were like uh, – kind of in the circuit of of music and ministry and um that kind of stuff here i didn't really i didn't really bond or connect with any of those guys and uh had an opportunity to see some of brian's advertisement actually on facebook had a chance to talk to him and uh we clicked you know right away um so it was it was really really great um i don't think uh god had intended for me to just focus simply here on the local scene, you know, also I want to be tied in here, but uh, speaking with Brian, I was able to kind of uh, branch out really, really quickly into different states, different opportunities. Um, and he supported me in the places that I was weak in, you know, uh, I'm not a social media guy. I'm not a promotional guy. You know, I just know that God has blessed me with a gift to share through music and, uh, you know, but if you don't get out there, you won't get hurt, you know. So the Lord just gave me that connection as an opportunity to um, be positioned to be heard. You know, the message that he gave me, you know, I think is, is heard on a lot more levels than would have happened, you know, by myself. Um, so I, I definitely appreciate that blessing. Um, and that's what he's kind of done for me is give me an opportunity to get out in front of people and share the message. Hey, Shay, you still there or you on mute? <laughs> She's still in the queue. Hold tight, y'all. I don't even know, don't even know how that happened. I'm, said, I'm talking. I'm saying 
I think it's amazing how you said the one thing I picked up on is that you said not only does he push your music out there, but he shows you or he's developing you as well as an artist. And I think a lot of artists need to understand it's one thing to be able to make music. It's another thing to get out there and try to push your music. But without professionalism, without backing, without, you know, people just feel like you have to we, we try to go with the package. Right. We look at, well, we got to have a manager. We got to have a booking agent. We got to have this. We got to have that. But really, you need to have somebody behind you that are, that's going to develop who you are. What's your brand? You know, take your ideas and not only take your ideas and do what you want them to do, but add to those ideas so that you can be seen as professional, that your talent goes beyond just the singing. You know, there's a whole brand that has to go with that. So it sounds like Brian is helping you to develop your brand overall. So shout out to Brian Irby for doing that. And, you know, as artists, you need to be able to um, to understand the importance of having a backing like that. Uh, so uh, definitely appreciate you saying that. And we'll talk more about that as well. Alyssa, you said something that I thought was very funny. You said, I was an unprofessional singer for many years. (laughs) You said I was an unprofessional singer for many years. So talk to me about being that little girl growing up. Did you think you were going to be a singer? Did you always want to be a singer? And how did, you know, how did you come about with this whole, um, I want to be a singer? So, uh, wow. Uh, so, so, yes, I have always had a dream to be a singer. Um, it wasn't always Christian at first. Like, it was going to be clean music, but not, you know, so much, not so much glorifying God, I guess, in that sense. Um, but, you know, meeting Mike, that kind of, you know, that kind of changed everything. And um, and then, of course, being in the church scene and, you know, coming from a Christian background, like, now that I now I know that's what I'm destined to do. Um, and I would not, I would not have my life any other way. Like if, if you were to ask me what a second job would be, I, I would say nothing because I don't, I don't feel like I'm anything without my voice and I don't feel like I'm anything without my voice using to glorify God. Yeah. And I like that too. Cause I do tell people even, you know, I was a, I was an old school R and B artist before I was a, you know, a inspirational artist. And so, but I do believe that music can intertwine. Jerry and I were just talking about that. You know, there's nothing wrong with um, Shaka Khan is my favorite. So I could be on any radio show and they're going to ask me to do a song from Shaka Khan on top of my songs because they know that I love her. And so, um, and I'm not afraid to do that. Why? Because music is something that touches the world, regardless of what kind it is, as long as it's respectable, but it's okay to have fun. And I tell everybody that when they come on here, it is okay to have fun, respectable fun, <laughs> just have some respectable fun. So you ended up into the, the world of um, singing uh, Christian music. How different was that for you from singing, you know, secular music to Christian music? Um, it, it wasn't too hard to transfer. Um, it, it, there was a little bit of an adjustment period just because it, you know, it wasn't something I was super, super used to. But, you know, like I said, like doing this, brings me so much closer to God than I ever thought I could be. And um, using music as that platform and as that therapy, like really just, it, it touches me really like in a, in a profound way. Yeah. What I found is that when you do, when you do transition over, there's an accountability. I went through a hardship when I was transitioning over and that's why I asked because that hardship, I was trying to bring the world with me when I was on the platform the way I moved, the way I sang. And I remember God stripping me from everything that made me me in the world. And I was lost. Like I literally was lost. And I would, I would come home crying every day because I felt like I wasn't singing the way I knew to sing in the world. And I learned accountability. And with that accountability came my gift, my anointing. Everything that came with that now developed me into being who I am today. So I do like to ask people that question because the transition for me, it really wasn't that easy. And I would go from my church platform when I wasn't doing so well, I would come back home and I would turn on my In Vogue, Shaka Khan, Aretha Franklin. I would turn on all my old school. I'd be like, I still got it. (laughs) I would say, 
I, I still got it. <laughs> but I understood later on in life that that's not what God wanted me to have. And so I just had to practice to, you know, study to show myself approved. And so, Epic Mike, we're going to talk about that, studying to show yourself approved. What do you do to kind of exercise your gift, your anointing? What do you do to, to, uh, to kind of exercise that? Um, I actually just allow myself to be vulnerable. Like, um, like each of the songs that the Lord gives me is, is actually something that I've either either experienced personally or somebody close to me is really going through something. And like, I hate to call myself, you know, a message, uh, type of rapper and that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, I definitely try to convey whatever the emotion is, whatever the the lesson is whatever the the word is. I try to convey that you know through the songs in a way that it can connect to people. And um, and the hard part of that is kind of like what you said. Like I've had to live each of these songs. Like I've had to go through transitions. I have to go through hardships, uh, highs and lows. Um, because mm-hmm. through those times, you know, the Lord is just kind of pouring in material and pouring in the messages. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and you know those those seasons. You know, because, like, uh, the people who hear your music, they're all in different seasons. And yes. I hate to put it like this. It's kind of a schizophrenic season that I have to go yes. through. Or just pours it into me so that, you know, the people he's trying to reach, you know, there's a broad scale of people. And, you know, and he just kind of opens me up for that. And I just do the best that I can to be obedient to what I feel like he has for me to, you know, to pour into people. And, uh, and in doing so, it is an emotional roller coaster. Um, yeah. I am able to stay grounded in him, but the actual, you know, act of going through things, you know, it's, it's kind of weighty sometimes. Amen. Yeah. It's like you said, that schizophrenic, <laughs> it's a schizophrenic <laughs> season. It's like how the weather is now though. In Atlanta, it gets snow one day. It'll be cold the next. It'll be sunny the next day. People call it a bipolar with bipolar weather. One day I'm wearing a big coat, the next I'm wearing shorts or tights. <laughs> so that's yeah, exactly yeah. how it is. That's exactly how it is. Well, we are going to go to one of your songs. Um, I'm not sure which songs we have, but I'm going to go ahead um, and let you introduce one of the songs and have Jerry cue that up for you. And while Jerry's doing that, just um, go ahead and introduce the song and then talk to us a little bit about the song, and we'll go ahead and go right to it. Um, I believe you guys have two songs, and uh, one I would like to introduce is uh, Closer to You. Uh, that was my first single from the album that I released. Um, that particular song uh, went right to FM radio, like, right away. Um, it hit Effect Radio Network. It was the first thing that kind of opened me up to the audience that I have now. Uh, it hit, like, uh, 56 different FM channels through the Effect Radio Network. Amen. Uh, and yeah. It was it was like one of those songs that um, I was open, I was honest, you know, about just trying to be closer to God. And, like, uh, I was feeling a lot more imperfections with myself the closer I got to him. You know, those things I thought was like small sins or small quirks about myself that I could accept away from him. The closer I got to him, you know, I just saw that I had to change more and, and to dig deeper and to try to go further in him. And like, it's a continual change. And I had to work on trying not to be, um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, discouraged because mm-hmm. I saw all of those things that needed to be changed about myself. Mm-hmm. But just knowing that, you know, um, you know, those were desires he had for me. Um, he knows that I'm not going to be perfect. I know I can't be perfect. But I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to walk as upright as I can, you know, before him because I love him enough to do that. And just not allowing that that closeness to him to make me just want to shrink back um, because I can't be perfect for him. Um, and that's kind of what the song is about. Uh, and it's about just trying to be comfortable in his presence, even though we know that we aren't in a perfect place within ourselves. Amen. Amen. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is close. Now, is Alyssa featuring on this song as well? Uh, she is not. She performs it okay. all the time, but it's actually my friend Stephanie Slaybaugh um, out of Baltimore, okay. Maryland. Um, she's featured on the song. Okay. See, I had to put that out there just in case Stephanie don't sound as good as Alyssa. I had to make sure the listeners knew who. <laughs> <laughs> they sound I'm just, queen, I'm just messing, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> So without further ado, this is Is It Closer to You by Epic Mike. You're listening to Do Worldwide Podcast.
How you thought of something like me When you have a throne room Full of heavenly hosts Giving you glory Still I'm blessed with the gift of life But I can't find a way to praise you every minute So I feel like I ain't living right I gotta reach deeper Gotta go further Lord, take me by the hand Let me walk on water God, heal my heart, my soul Trying to break free All my life a dream of flying But I never left my feet God, it's plain to see This flesh is holding me down So I just lift your name up Lord, up through the clouds To go higher It's time to stop, so I can walk between the raindrops Pause everything in my life for this moment in time Just long enough to decipher the lies Cause all the sins that I commit are eat me up inside Ain't nothing about me, picture perfect, take a look at my faults Plus the greed is all I see embedded deep in my thoughts Like this world's apart, how I am and how I wanna be It's hard to be straight and get motivated by money Right or wrong, it ain't the point, take this thorn from my flesh Tired of going before my guard, church looking the mess You feel me? Tired of underachieving, taking the beating Living under stress Held back by glass ceilings If you wanna fly, rise Just lift the Lord How did Jesus Christ be uplifted See the world through his eyes Take in the view Church and life will never be the same Cause the way to touch the sky Is to live with the name of Jesus What more can I say? With our mouth closed, we lost souls caught in the moment. I lost forever. The times have changed. Our brothers start to slip in the way. Cause self is start to greed. Take up half our day. We need to break and repent. Start to live for God. We keep putting off the day to place our faith in tomorrow. But one of these days, church tomorrow will never come. We'll be judged by the King. Lord, our time is done. Your time is now. Hit the streets and open your mouth. We the body in Christ. Church, wrap it up in the house. The time has come. Hit the block, praise in the sun. I said his name is Jesus Christ. The good news, church. He's the one, the one and only Son of God. Men and broken hearts, sending me strongholds. He ripped them apart. From the bottom to the top down, all the walls coming down. Everyone deserves the chance to hit their knees and free God. Yeah. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. I like it. I like it. Closer to you. And when did you come out with that song? Um, That song was, I think, about, what, three years ago? That was about three years ago I came out with that song. Um, I was actually out in Hawaii when I recorded it and brought it to Texas with me and was able to kind of get it out there. I absolutely love it. And it's one of those songs I think is just, like you said, it's transparent. And it's one of those songs that can just go like in any season, you know, um, it never grows old. Like I always say, it still has some bones to it. (laughs) Even though you did it three years ago, I think we can hear that song another three years from now and it'll still be relevant. 
So, um, yes, thank (laughs) Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Okay. And so um, you said you were in Hawaii. You, You did this. Did you do a video to this song? I did do a video. Actually, uh, as funny as it is, like, I shot the video, edited the video. Like, I, I played a big role in that. That was my first video um, that I did for myself. And obviously, you know, as an independent artist, you got to kind of wear a lot of hats. And, uh, yeah. you know, in doing so, uh, I just had to make it happen, man. You know, I didn't have a big budget for it at all. Uh, had the camera. We made it happen. And uh, actually, the, the video came out pretty decent, if I would you know, say so myself. <laughs> well, I mean, because you did it. Of course you're going to say so yourself. But one thing I, I'm telling you, I love so much about what you're saying is you just don't let anything stop you. Like, there are obstacles yeah. that come your way. There are things and people, like you said, you came to Texas and you were just, I mean, you know, we were talking about changing your circle, but surely God just changed your whole circle. And you thought you were going to come back to what was familiar, and he changed that oh, whole, oh, goodness. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk at the mic. So basically what happened was you outgrew the old. You were trying to bring you were trying to bring yourself into this old wine skin and God was like, No, I got something brand new for you and you thought you were gonna come back to Texas with all of this you know, I got my people, we know what we're doing, the music, I got my connections. But you grew. You outgrew them, you outgrew what you were used to, you outgrew what you were familiar to and God changed that whole thing around. He certainly did. I I, I certainly appreciate that perspective. It, it's definitely what happened. You know, and, and the thing is, man, like, uh, when God starts to separate you, like, it, it, it's even though it's his hand that's moving, it's still a heavy thing. Because, you know, it's not easy all the time to let go of that old wine skin and those, you know, old ways of doing things. And it's been a tremendous transition for me. Uh, Alyssa is going through something kind of parallel. You know, she she got diagnosed with uh, multiple sclerosis. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and all this stuff, like, it was different hardships for each of us. And, like, before we even knew each other, we were going through a parallel lane of transition and, and growing. And, you know, and I, I think ultimately uh, we just had a greater appreciation for the ability and opportunity to serve God. Like, Literally, that that's that's where my joy is. It's just like I get a chance to serve you doing this. This is ex- this is exciting. You know, thank you. Like it's an appreciation of just the gift that he gave me and an opportunity to share it. Um, and it's just I don't know, man. It's 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 a tremendous driving factor for me um, in just being able to do that. Amen. And I would say it's like driving. It's like driving your first new car, right? I don't care if it was like an '89. Mazda, I don't even know if they had 66 at that time. Let me just say Mazda 66. You don't care how old that car is, it's yours. And you treat it like it's brand new. You wash that thing up, you clean and detail it out, you put the new air freshener in there with the dice up in the window. You know what I'm talking about? Mm hmm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a fella knows something about you know, that first car and everything. So. <laughs> Well, we do have another song. We're going to play this next song before we go, and we're going to tell everybody where they can find you. I got. I hope you guys are having a good time with me tonight because I'm definitely having one. I'm having a good time oh, with you both. <laughs> we do have another song, Can't Bring Me Down. Tell us about mm-hmm. that song. Uh, Can't Bring Me Down was the first song that was that I wrote that was the total opposite of how I was feeling at the time. It was, it was one of those songs where uh, I just had to encourage myself, you know, and, you know, I've had times of feeling so close to God that I felt like nothing could bring me down. Uh, yeah. It wasn't where I was, you know, at the time that I was writing it. Um, and I was actually like, I don't know, I was humming some songs or something like that or some lyrics and stuff. And, and it was something like, uh, you know, I hadn't wrote a, you know, a happy song in a long time, you know, and it's just kind of repeating that thing and that theme. And, um, and the Lord, you know, he gave it to me and it actually was an encouragement to me. Um, and I've seen that it's been an encouragement to other people as well. So that's been tremendous. And, uh, the song is actually playing in Trinidad and Tobago on, I think it's 98.1 FM. Um, and that was picked up through, um, 
there was a social media review of music that was going on, and there was a uh, a DJ on there from Trinidad, and he picked it up. He put it on there right away, uh, right after I had released it, and that was a tremendous blessing for me. Uh, that song is also in the top 40 uh, with Effect Radio Network as we speak, and they picked that up themselves, you know, um, after they grabbed yeah. um, Closer to You. I didn't submit any music to them. Uh, it was just something I kind of was sharing when I had first released it, and they grabbed it. They put it in the top 40. Uh, they've been showing it, sharing a lot of information about it, the video. There is a music video for that as well. Uh, so it's touched a whole lot of people uh, in just a short period of time, and uh, so that's been a tremendous blessing for me um, as well. Well, congratulations to that. So we're going to go ahead and um, play that song. And when we come back on the other side, I want you both to just give some words of inspiration to the listeners and the viewers before we go and how they can reach you for booking. Let's do it. We gotta work. Oh, yeah. You got you. you. Hey, every day I pray, Jesus, don't leave me alone. They think that I'm praying, they don't know I'm not alone. Very minds, it's like you drop me off of my tongue. But the king will be king, so you won't get to me. Can't break me down cause he saved me On the real man, God is the greatest Here I go, hit the flow with my lady This joy in the Lord, I'm about to go crazy Let it flow, let it go One time, you could jam, you could dance And he don't mind, all I need is a beat And I'm alright, and I'ma dance with my hands up All night, come on, get up And get down, Need the worry in the past It's a party right now Man, I just feel alive Put my head on the ceiling cause I'm just that fly Two step, hit it side to side Man, this beat is so hot, got the club on fire yeah. It's good time like it's supposed to be So blessed they can get to me You know it's life hey, hey. Every day I pray, I'm Jesus don't leave me alone Come on. They think that I'm praying They don't know I'm not they just alone don't know. Ready minds, they to drop me off of my door so you won't get to me Break me down, I pray too long to feel how I feel right now. My God's too strong, never alone. He's here and he's by my side. You can feel the rush, you're gonna move or what? They hit a jam and the crowd get live. Turn the music up to make the speakers bust from the praise hit all outside. Come on, we found a set free. This is beat to make you move your feet. Live for praise in the G-O-D, it's good time like it's supposed to be. It's all good, and it's cool to have a good time. You can praise and praise him right now. Lift his name in your hands to the sky. Can't it dance with my girl at my side? Come on. Hey. Every day I pray, Jesus, don't leave me alone. They think that I'm praying, they don't know I'm not alone. Very much, it's like to throw me off of my door. But the king will be here, so you won't. I like it. I like it. I love it. Let me change that. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much to you both for being on air with me tonight on the Late Night um, Radio with Jerry Voice and myself, Shay Samuels. I would love to start with Alyssa tonight just because you were talking about some of the health issues that she's having to overcome and some of the challenges that she's currently working through. Um, just inspire someone tonight just about overcoming. 
encourage someone about overcoming? You know, it doesn't matter what you're going through, whether it be physical, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Uh, it literally does not matter. Um, the, the, the way I found the most peace was literally just handing everything over to God. Um, back when I was very sick and back when I was laying in bed and couldn't really walk, I, I had nothing to do but worship and I had nothing to do but pray and, and give, give everything to God, all of my failures, all of my triumphs, you know, I, and I prayed for, I prayed, or I thanked him for everything in advance. I thanked him for the healing that was going to come and did come and, uh, you know, just everything. So, um, whatever situation you have going on, give it to God and I promise you he's going to fix it. Amen. 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 And, um, for you, uh, Mr. Epic Mike, for you, we're going to talk about transitioning. So just want you to encourage people about transition season and position. Um, well, I would just like to say that a lot of times, you know, transitioning can come in a way of feeling like you took a step back or just feeling totally broken just because, you know, that comfort level of whatever place you were in is, has been shaken. And, you know, it, you don't know what type of emotions that will stir up when that, when that comfort level is shaken. And it's just being able to know that, you know, God is your foundation, being able to stay firm in him, being able to stand on his word, and just ultimately knowing that his hand is on all things. And, you know, no matter what it looks like while you're walking through that time, that, you know, you can just feel like and understand that he is still with you. Um, and I have to encourage myself a lot of times because when I feel distant from him, I actually believe that I'm distant from God. And, like, when you start to feel like that, you get discouraged. So I would just say no matter the transition, no matter the time in your life, when you feel the furthest from God, he is still just as close to you in those times as he is when you feel like he's right there listening to every word. Like, uh, he doesn't forget about us. Uh, He doesn't neglect us. He doesn't turn from us because of, a situation we're going through, but instead he's right there with us. Um, he's the same today as he is tomorrow, and we can always lean on and just know that he is our father, he is our friend, he is everything we need him to be in those times. And uh, as long as you can understand that, like in the darkest times, it makes it that much easier to praise him uh, it through the good times and not forget about him then because you mm-hmm. know he's still with you through everything, and um, that's what kind of helped me through the transition because he has felt distant at times, and I just have to remind myself that that's not the God I serve. The God I serve is an intimate God, and he's with me, and he sees everything, knows all things, and he's concerned about me, Um, and that's how I encourage myself, and that's how I would like to encourage others is just that, you know, his presence um, is always with us. Amen. That was a good word. That was definitely a good word. Now, um, do you guys have anything coming up, any new projects, any new shows that the audience and viewers need to know about before we uh, let you go? Um, I would say two big things, actually. Um, uh, In June, we'll be with a Navajo outreach, which is something that's pretty crazy, uh, out in Arizona. Um, That'll be with Squad Life Radio, and uh, it'll be hosted by Ref. Um, He's the the head of Squad Life Radio, um, and that's going to be a tremendous opportunity. Never done anything like that uh, to be with a Navajo outreach, so I'm just excited about that. Um, Also, um, we're looking at being a part of a couple of compilations that are coming up. Uh, One will be released through um, Warner um, Records, and that's a new song that hasn't been released as of yet. It's going to be called Happy. Um, and then we just recently had an opportunity that we're looking forward to through just the music business conference that Brian was a part of. So we're looking at uh, hopefully being a part of a compilation there as well um, through Sony. Um, so those are some tremendous things, and uh, we're just kind of looking forward to those uh, at this particular time, and it's, you know, it's kind of exciting for us for sure. That is definitely exciting. So you guys, make sure you are looking them up. Where can they find you? Facebook, Instagram, any of your social media um, hubs, and YouTube. Where can the listeners and viewers uh, connect with you? Uh, On YouTube, online, just look at Epic Mike, E-P-I-C-M-I-C. 
all one word, and it'll, it should pull up pretty quickly. Uh, on Facebook, it's Epic Mike Music. Um, at Twitter, it's Epic Mike underscore. Um, and we have uh, Alyssa can be reached as well. Um, spell your name for us, please. <laughs> 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 uh, A-L-Y-S-S-A. Um, I do have a single out entitled T Christ. You can find that on YouTube. Um, and then my Instagram handle is Alyssa underscore music, and music is uh, M-U-S-I-Q. Okay. And I do have one more question for both of you. Okay. Did you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? I felt the power. Jerry Boys Live felt the power. Did you feel the power? Epic Mike, I feel it. We felt the power. What about you, Alicia? Alicia, you felt the power. (laughs) I definitely felt the power. (laughs) Amen, amen. Thank you, Shay Sams, Epic Mike, Brian Urban, Alicia. Coming up next, we got world premiere for David Benton, his video. And Brian, Brian just released your video to us, too, Epic Mike, so... We released that on the channel so people can check you out. All right, everybody, thank you for joining us. Monday Night Triple Podcast. We're here every Monday starting at 8 o'clock with Pep Talk with Ree. Then you got the Lakeisha Mosey Show. And then you got Late Night with Jerry Was Live Worldwide and Shea Samuels. Right here in beautiful Charm City, baby. Right here in Maryland. All right, yo, we got some special things going on real quick. Just want to let you guys know you artists out there looking for exposure. We got it, y'all. We're moving into a second theater. So uh, you gotta you gotta reach out to Paula G, the voice, and Lakeisha Mosley. Lakeisha have a television special that's gonna be shot here in Maryland in September, and this thing gonna be broadcast nationally. As you know, we are on Janico. That's a big faith-based TV satellite network. I'm talking about satellite, y'all. These these stations have over nine million subscribers. That's right. So you gotta you gotta get with us, y'all. WATC2 is where we air our shows and they're on all those faith-based networks. So you're talking about millions and millions of viewers to check out you independent. This is something that's never happened for independent gospel artists. This is how you become mainstream, y'all. You gotta go through television. You gotta go through television. Radio, we get to know you. That's right. We get to know who you are. But you gotta you gotta go through television. Alright, so reach out to Paula G. The Voice. You get her on Facebook and also Lakeisha Mosley. Both of them are our top TV hosts, and they are doing things. All right, y'all, this is Positive Power with WXF Christian Media. So stand by for the world premiere for David Benton. Brand new video. Amen. You're listening to Worldwide Podcast.